Hello everyone and welcome back to zoo crafting and oh my gosh we're finally back welcome back to the zoo I am so sorry about the last week I was miserably sick with that cold last week ah uh, I listened back to that video and I couldn't believe how much I sounded so stuffy so thankfully my cold has finally gone away and we had some very exciting news in my family that distracted me for a little bit so in case you guys have not seen my Twitter you guys may not know my baby brother's getting married Huzzah! he just got engaged this week so that really distracted my whole family and kind of took us by surprise because he is my youngest sibling so it's really weird to be like didn't you just graduate high school but it turns out that was a few years ago so apparently time is passing and things are happening in my family and it distracted me but I have to tell you guys what popping back in here being among our world rolling around on the picnic blanket being able to listen to the little birds sing their little hearts out knowing that I have so many delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to offer to young Ben here and just get so many bug eggs to hatch in our bear exhibit. It just feels like coming home. Oh, I love it. But I'm so excited because not only has my baby brother decided to get married. Oh, I wonder where all those these bug eggs are. Hmm. Hang on, Ben. I will trade you for your bug eggs in just a second. But not only is that happening in my family, but it has snowed. It has snowed. And so it is officially the start of winter in my particular little corner of the world. And that means that we are going to have to pop up out of the temperate forest area. And we're going to need to start doing some work over in our big beautiful arctic zone so this is going to be what did we decide to call it the arctic forest or the winter forest let's just go with winter forest because we're probably going to have creatures from all over cold regions of the world and not just in the arctic and we're going to start putting them in here and i do need to come over here and gather up a bunch of snow because i still need to start gifting my friends with so many different things so i'm way behind on those things and i'm really hoping that with the start of the year and so many immense changes in my life i'll be able to get back into daily zoo crafting because i miss it i was just thinking this morning what do i miss about myself uh like what do i miss about doing that really made me feel connected with everybody and the answer pine tate lily ben turned out to be zoo crafting and vlogs so i'm really hoping i could get back into both of those things but enough rambling about my personal life and the excitement of having a new sister join the family oh and i guess i should clarify because i mean it's it's now it's today's age and day in world so yes my brother is getting married to a lovely young lady who's about his age um and i i'm so i'm so old i'm so old i just stared at both of them and went like but but you're just little kids what's happening what's happening and so i'm i'm hitting that age of life you guys siri feels very old right now but ironically it actually made me want to make an area here in our zoo and oh, we should take some ideas some wedding planning ideas a beautiful area here somewhere in our world maybe it doesn't even have to be in zudesia even though i think it would be really fun but like a little wedding zone so people can come and get married that's what they advertise everywhere in some zoos when i went to the detroit zoo every single banner and poster and like a big <gasps> butterfly 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 i need more butterfly containers oh my gosh but every single oh beautiful butterfly i'm getting so distracted every single poster and billboard and everything they had in the detroit zoo if it didn't say get your vitamin z here it said get married here oh and that reminds me when we were in the butterfly exhibit chips and i actually had a volunteer come up and he kind of side eyed us while we were holding hands and he's like you know for just three thousand dollars donated here to the zoo you can get married here. And we looked at each other like, uh, thank you. <laughs> so yes, you can get married in zoos. And how much fun would that be to host a wedding between some of our NPCs here? Oh, I love it. And speaking of NPCs, don't worry, you guys. We are going through the gigantic, oh no, my queen bee passed away. What am I going to do now? Uh, we'll take her over to the, the zookeeper station. We'll do that really quickly. All right, I'll be right back, Ben. All right, Lily, Tate, fine. Let's go ahead and go over to the zookeeper station and swap out these, NP these NPCs. What the heck? Swap out these bees really Really quickly but yeah I think it would be fun to have an area somewhere in our world to celebrate weddings and marriage oh how did how you how are you supposed to say it again I'm trying to remember marriage marriage and if you guys know what I'm trying to quote then I love you so much because you've watched one of the best movies in the world in my opinion all right so we need to take these queen bees and turn them into royal jelly and that will actually make it so we can take these tiny little bee grubs who are hiding inside of that beehive and turn them into healthy queen bees 
please. There we go. Come here, little one. There you go. There you go. All right. And now we've got two healthy, happy queen bees that we can go ahead and replace over here. Lily, I really don't... Is there... A, please tell me. Yeah, there's glass in here. Lily, you know, when you do that, you make me think I forgot to put glass inside of the window frames again. And I mean, you know what? I'm not going to question it. You actually have the trait hell dog, which means that you're able to walk on lava. So why would a little thing like glass actually bother you? Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to quit. Yep, that's right. You wag that little tail, Lily. All right, and let's go ahead and actually Keeper Adelaide. Can I get... Let's see if we can get two more shiny logs from Keeper Adelaide to put down inside of the um, the Black Bear exhibit, actually. I think that would be a good thing. All right, puppies, everybody sit. Tate, sit on those mushrooms. Pine, pine, sit. Pine, pine. Good boy. All right, now he's sat down. All right, and we'll come in here and we'll help Keeper Adelaide clear away some of these overgrown gardens and gather up some vegetables while we do that. And the reason we do that, let's see, I should probably put away some of these things, is, oh, oh beautiful butterfly. I really need to go and convince that butterfly keeper uh, who's over in Relic Ruins to come and live with us because I want to be able to gather up all of these butterflies and start our butterfly house already. That sounds like a good, that sounds like a good February task, doesn't it? A good task for February, dear, um, because that would be, let's see, let's come over here and clear away some of these gardens. That would keep me busy in February. Oh, hi, Birdos, wherever you guys are. Oh, I love all of our ambient animals. But that would be a good task for February because then I could work on getting a butterfly house built. And I do want, with the start of the new year, I'm so overworked right now and overwhelmed with how many series we have going on, to be completely 100% honest with you guys, as I can be in zoo crafting. Um, but once the new year hits, I hope to, January is always really, really, really tight. No matter what I do, no matter what I do, Adelaide. So I'm really hoping in January, um, like it's like no matter what you do in January, you're not going to be able to make any money as a YouTuber for real. Maybe enough to pay the bills if you try really hard, but even if you had a bazillion more views than usual, it's still going to be a ridiculously horribly tight month all of January and February. So it really is like anything you do, it doesn't matter. So I'm thinking in January, I'll be able just to reset and do the things that my heart really loves and not worry about all of those other silly details that can go around the edges all right we're gonna trade all of the vegetables to Adelaide uh, I think that's all that she'll take from us so yeah she'll only take all of those veggies uh, oh but look that's almost enough we just need one more zookeeper experience point in order to get let's go see what I left on the ground in there I guess the deer can like just eat the things that I dropped and wasn't able to carry back or fluffy mittens fluffy mittens do you want to have some okra I'm not sure if that's something you enjoy, but I'm glad to see you seem to live here in the deer exhibit now. I should probably put a little sign, <gasps> another beautiful butterfly that says that Fluffy Mittens just lives in the deer exhibit, the white-tailed deer exhibit. All right, and we'll come over here. Oh, maybe we can get Fluffy Mittens like a little mate, and maybe they can have like a little bunny burrow in here. I love multi-species exhibits. All right, and Adelaide, a few more. Yes, all right. Oh, well, that worked. All right. So now we can trade. We can actually get two more logs or yes, three logs. Wonderful. Thank you, Adelaide. And let's go ahead and gather up Tate, Lily, and Pine. And we'll go into the bear exhibit again. And I will replace the queen bee. But yes, so <laughs> it's, it's like in January, anything you do, it doesn't matter. You just have to live off of your savings and be very frugal. So I feel like I, that actually gives me a lot of freedom to go, okay, I'm just going to do the things that I truly love. And I mean, I love everything I do, but like, I'm going to focus. What I'm trying to say is it'll give me a chance to start on zoo crafting and just try getting back into year four and doing it as a daily thing again because I miss being home. So enough of that rambling. You guys have heard that plenty of times before. And let's come over and speak with young Ben. Young Ben, sir, today I want to hatch so many insects. I want insects all over the place. And that may seem odd, you guys, but actually having a wide variety of pollinators and not just the beautiful butterflies throughout our entire zoo will represent so so much health in the forest and so much health in the biome and I'm really excited just to see what it would be like to have dragonflies flitting by and to have little snails especially crawling by. You guys know how much I love snails. There are so many Nymphsias in the village nearby. I love collecting them. Ben, don't pick from my Nymphsia garden. That represents all of our amazing community members. All right, let's go ahead and gather up some things from him. So I need to get some wooden coins first. So we will trade a few of our sandwiches away. And I think maybe, 
There you go, buddy. So now he has enough sandwiches to last him quite a while. And I'll save the rest of these PB&J sandwiches to put into our picnic baskets. And I think I'm going to have to clear out a little bit of space. I wonder what I can do with this chili pepper, actually. Because suddenly I just have, like, chili peppers on me. I could make curry rice, veggie stir fry, guacamole, um, beans. I could make just plain chili. That might be kind of fun. Hot wings, which I can actually make out of tofu. Uh, chili chocolate? What? Or chili poppers? Chili poppers actually sound kind of yummy. And all I need is flour and cheese for that. That would be kind of fun to like tuck fresh made into the um, picnic baskets. Uh, or I could make a Bloody Mary. I didn't know that that was a thing. Or extreme chili. Extra chili on top of chili on top of chili. All right. So I'll have to think about all of those things. But let me go ahead and put some of these away. So we've got a little bit of room to work. Uh, and my juicer that I need to put away back in the house. Apple juice. Uh, caramel apples. Okay, I should probably put on I'll put on my gear just so that it's out of the way All right, and that should hopefully Let's see make a little bit more room chick pickety can go away for now Well, actually I use chick pickety more than I use my normal pickaxe All right, and that should make some room to be able to gather up some bug eggs in my opinion So all right, then I've got some money uh, I've heard that there were delicious sandwiches here, but it isn't open yet. Don't worry, I just gave you so many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You'll be set for so many school lunches. All right, so let's go ahead. Mystery bug. I don't know which one is which, so we're just going to grab a whole bunch and hatch them and see what they turn into. I hope I don't accidentally hatch like a bunch of roaches. That would be not so good. Um, Man, I really hope these are going to be cute bugs. So this is going to be interesting. We're just going to hatch so many mystery bug eggs. We're going to dive right in there and just have a good time with it. This is going to be pretty fun. All right. Thank you, Ben. And I'm going to swap these around. Oh, this is so fun. And I know we have a little bug. Uh, yeah, the little ant tucked away inside of the safari net because he was trying to escape the bear exhibit. All right. So let's go inside of the bear exhibit. And we will release these bugs. I don't think we need to release all of them in the bear exhibit, but it would be fun to start here at least. So I think we'll release a couple here. So here is this kind of brown egg. So this egg with some like brown spots on it. What kind of insect egg is it? Oh, it's in the little ant. Oh, I'm going to make sure that the ants like have some companionship. So everything in the brown eggs are ants. So all right, we've got a little a little family of ants over here now. And they're really good at climbing. Oh, no. Oh, no. This this is an escape route. Okay, quick. Destroy that. All right. Still an escape route. Okay, quick. Destroy this. All right. Is it an escape route now? Nope. Okay, we should be good. No bears escaping. No no anything escaping. I'm going to destroy this one, too. There we go. Now nobody can, nobody can get out this way. All right. That makes me feel better. Good job, ants. You showed me a weakness in my fortification for keeping black bears inside. Uh, definitely important to make sure you get that right for crying out loud. All right. Let's go over to another part of the exhibit. Oh, and we also need to put behind our shiny logs. So that'll be really exciting. So I'll put one right up there so it can light up this corner. It's not night yet, but time is moving. So we should ha we should see night at some point. Uh, oh, look at those beautiful roots. And then you can go through here and we can pop in and out of the exhibit. I love it. All right. What is this mystery bug? <gasps> it's a snail. It's a little green snail. Oh, that's my weakness. Okay, ant. Oh, I have an ant in here. Okay, let's release the ant over by the other ants. I want to keep it. It's a green, green snail. Look at him. He's green on top of green. I'm going to keep you. You're my new buddy. I'm going to name you Lettuce. So maybe I'll... Yeah, and Lettuce is going to be his name. He is going to come home. I kind of want to make him a little terrarium now and keep him forever. Okay, so I'm going to keep him. Oh, it's a little grasshopper. Okay, so all of the dark blue ones are grasshoppers. I'll probably forget this by the next time it's time to get eggs. Hey, don't drown, little guy. Are you going to be okay in there? All right. Well, bugs do have short lifespans, if that's what his decision is. Oh, and I need to go get more ferns, too. All right, little, little bumblebee. <gasps> a little slug. Oh, gosh, he's so cute. I love them. I really love them. And then we have more shiny logs. It's getting a little darker. So I can put down a couple more shiny logs. I'm really glad we snagged these from Adelaide, actually, because this is exactly what we need to kind of light up the corners. Can you get out from over here? No, you can't, actually. So I'll go ahead and tuck this log back here. So it should light the area up. Look at this. We have birds. We have bees. This is wonderful. I'm not even sure if we need to put in a squirrel, but I just want to have at least one cranky squirrel living up in the branches. <gasps> Listen to that. You can even hear it. Oh, see, this is the kind of sounds that you should hear in a healthy, happy ecosystem. So let's see. 
And then, oh, now it's a firefly. Oh, that's so fun. I'm not sure if they'll stick around. Wow, they're so cool. All right, last one. Oh, a beautiful butterfly. So I'm not sure how many of these guys will stick around and how many will just fly away. Uh, you butterfly away, as my beloved Chips likes to say to butterflies. And uh, let's see, I think I need to put like one more log down here, actually. Should I move one of the ones I got? Um, maybe. What about this one? It doesn't seem to be doing too much. All right, hang on. Let's come over here. Hi, little birdo. Well, actually, it was lighting up this corner for you, wasn't it? All right, I'll have to get like one more shiny log or maybe something that hangs. Oh, speaking of hanging, let's put these roots up. Nice, look at that. So nice, I really like it. Wonderful, now we have the roots hanging on the bottom there. Oh, this is a beautiful exhibit. It's one of the most detailed and complex exhibits, even though it seemed like it was going to be so simple that we've done in so long. So we'll have to go and we will need to do some sort of, of mission to go find a black bear. It's been a long time since we've just like headed out and done an adventure. So that might be something fun to do maybe for tomorrow because I really wanna move from the temperate forest area over to the, uh, the winter wood area so we can get to work on some really fun ideas that I have for exhibits and shops over there. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, listen to the crickets. Oh my gosh. Yay, and the cute little ant. Oh, I love them. Don't drown, okay, guys? All right, and let's go ahead and come this way. Uh, I'm going to have to <laughs> come on, move forward. There we go. Hey, I'm hearing you guys take damage. Bugs aren't the smartest thing, so I guess occasionally we'll have to go around. Oh, look at all of them. How did you get out? I must have a, a weakness in my defense parameter spots. No. Okay, here, go in there. All right, there's that one. So they get to make a lot of noise and let's release some bugs over here. So there's another firefly. I got a lot of fireflies, this is fun. And I love having lettuce, my new snail. Definitely gonna keep him. All right, a little fly. Glad I didn't get too many of those. A little dragonfly. And then what's this one? <gasps> Beautiful moth, wow, you really match the scenery. I like you a lot. And then this one, another honeybee, nice. Well, that was really fun. I really like releasing all of the bugs and then just kind of letting them spread out over time so that they can adventure and, and move around. Oh, look at the butterfly. See, and then they'll just start spreading out and kind of keeping around the area. Uh, I don't know how all of the ants managed to get out, but really most people try so hard to keep ants like contained inside of an area. That shouldn't be too surprising to me. And we will be doing little exhibits to explain some of the insects in the future too, because insects are actually very, very important pollinators. And they serve as a very, very important part of the food chain for a lot of creatures too. I mean, just look at the anteater. Oh man, how cool would it be? Hey, 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 no ants in the picnic. Hmm. I didn't really think that one through, did I? <laughs> it would actually be really fun if kind of like we have the termite mound over in the safari area. We had a little ant hill. Look at him. He's just strolling right into the picnic pickup area. You silly ant. Yeah, it would be kind of fun to have like a little ant hill somewhere around here that just has ants pop up out of it. That might be kind of fun. All right, so sorry about the short episode today, you guys. I mostly just wanted to play with some of the bugs and let you guys know what's up. My brother's getting married and my plans for season four, AKA the fourth year of zoo crafting. Uh, hopefully going back to a daily series because I've had to juggle things to help me tackle some really big goals this year and I kind of like lost control of everything I do doing that, but we've talked about that before and you guys have actually really helped me kind of come to terms with, with following your heart. I don't want to tell you guys to follow your heart and follow your passion and make it work for you and then not do it myself. So that's a really good, a really good balance. And we are going to go ahead. And I think we're going to do a little bit of exploring. I want to move on to the winter woods area because it's already winter and I have been so lazy pants about like actually diving in to that area and playing around in the snow. But I also want to finish up this area. So I think tomorrow we may potentially, I'll go check on how many squirrels we have in the Wellness Center. We may potentially get a squirrel, but I think actually what I want to do is go grab Astro Seed or maybe allow Sunflower an opportunity to fly again. And we'll go look for a black bear if I don't happen to have one hiding down in my safari nets inside of the stasis chamber. And we will add a black bear in here finally. And then we may even be able to add in a few of the guests that you guys applied for the position for last week and start seeing them roam around the temperate forest area. And once we've got that covered and maybe even we have worked on finishing up the picnic baskets, uh, but that may have to, that may have to wait for some special like bonus zoo, zoo kitchen episodes again, because we're 
so behind on things. But then we're going to move over to the winter woods area and start discussing all sorts of special winter animals and some very special winter shops that I have ideas for that I'm going to need you guys help for, like ugly Christmas sweaters. You heard it here first. All right. So we're going to dive into even more adventure and just feel more at home next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.